the 30 to 45 mile an hour winds have broken one of the mounting rings for the flag. I have already gone up and lowered the pole. Now Christopher with all his skills is going to go up and detach the flag and bring it down without letting it touch the ground. Careful with your footing when you get around those electrical cords. There goes Spider-Man. It's very windy up there. As you can see, the flag is blowing greatly. Yeah. Yep, just unhook the flag. We're gonna bring it down. I don't want it. I don't want it getting shredded by the uh, antenna that's up there. I'll bring it down, and then when it's not windy, I'll go back up there and lower the pole and figure out what happened with the mounting brackets. Your mission is to just get the pole, down, just get the flag unhooked and down. Good job. Bring it on down. There you go. Keep it to the right because that's the way the wind's blowing. It's so windy I can't stand up. I hope that the, hope that tower doesn't blow over on you. Careful, you're getting it caught in the guide wire. First real windy day and mounting brakes. It was only a four dollar and ninety five cent part. What? Let me see, move. Uh no, I think it's good. Okay, move it down a little bit then. Yeah, whatever. I'll move it later. Hey, try and go down that tower a little bit slower. You're making everything jump all over the place. Don't let that flag touch the ground. Okay, better not. Uh, if it if it is, you're going to be on YouTube, and everyone's going to know you let a U.S. flag touch the ground. Just uh, set it up here on the table. That way it won't blow around. That's good. Set it in the chair. Okay. Thank you for all your help. Oh, you can fucking do that? Big, fat? Not dumb enough. What? <laughs>